This is Israel's Iron Dome. Now, it's not a real dome made of iron, but it certainly tries to act like one. The Iron Dome is one of the most sophisticated defense technologies in the world. And recently, it was in news after Hamas, a militant group from Gaza, fired some 5,000 missiles on Israel. And unfortunately, a few of them slipped from the Iron Dome. Now to understand how that happened, let's first take a look at how the Iron Dome actually works. There are three primary components of the Iron Dome, the radar, the control center and the missile launchers. Now the radar can detect any projectile from a range of around 65 kilometers. It could be a missile or it can be any other projectile. And then it will relay that information to the control center. The control center will then calculate the path of the projectile and see if it's hitting a populated area. And accordingly, it will send the signal to the missile launcher. The missile launcher will then fire the rocket. And while it's in the air, the control center will try to navigate it right to the spot. All of this eventually leads to a loud bang and a flash of light in the air. Now that we know how the Iron Dome works, let's see how Hamas might have managed to outfox such a sophisticated technology. The Hamas attack was a complete surprise for the Israeli forces. The militant group claims that it fired around 5,000 missiles in a span of just 20 minutes. Some of these 5,000 missiles escaped the Iron Dome and then caused casualties. Now, another aspect that goes against the Iron Dome technology is price. To counter each and every single missile coming Israel's way, the price to stop it is exponentially higher than the enemy missiles itself. So Hamas was able to overwhelm the entire system by sheer volume. Now the Iron Dome is just a part of the surveillance technology that Israel uses and it is famous across the world for being foolproof and efficient. The country uses a network of drones, high-tech fences powered by AI and even robotics to keep a watch on their borders. Now recent reports suggest that Hamas managed to outfox all of this by going dark. They essentially went old school in their methods of communication and managing the attack. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.